Okay, the meeting's called to order. Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, roll call first, I'm sorry. Uh, Trustee Houston? Here. Trustee Spellman? Here. Trustee Spellman? Here. And uh, our zoning inspector, uh, Wayne Sarno, and Fiscal Officer Ken Dewey. Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Excuse <coughs> me. We have the minutes. We have four sets. So you okay. want to do them at one version, or you want to do them individually? We've had time to review them. We could yeah. we can make a one motion. We have the side here. Mm -hmm. Which minutes are they so we can make a motion? Uh, March 12th, March 11th, two on regular March 11th, special March 11th, March 12th, and March 14th. Can okay. I make a motion that we accept the minutes for the March, both March 11th meeting? Meeting on the 12th and the meeting on the 14th. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, roll call, Trustee Houston. Your vote, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trustee Spellman? Yes. Trustee told me yes. Sorry. I'm a little out of whack. Okay. And you're signing them this time? Sure. Okay. Copies up here. Okay, so uh, well, so are we ready for the are they here for the executive? Yes, I see legal counsel here. Yeah, I like to since legal counsel's there, I'd like to make a motion uh, under High Revised Code 121.22, meet with uh, legal counseling on uh, legal counsel on pending litigation. At this time, it should be uh, brief. But I'd like to make that motion. If we have a second. I'll second that. Good second, okay. Uh, Trustee Houston? Yes. Yes, Trustee Spellman? Yes. yes. Trustee Tillman? Yes. And we're going to go back with her and we'll reserve the right to call somebody in as needed. <coughs> Hopefully, it'll be quick. So just take a I'd like to make a motion to return to our regular trustee meeting session. I'll second that. Okay, Trustee Houston? Yes. Trustee Spellman? Yes. yes. Trustee Tillman? Yes. Okay, meeting's back. Where we left off. Executive session we had, there was no action taken. No action taken. All right, so we <coughs> now are going to do the fiscal report. Are there? you finishing the signing this? Are you done signing? Today's bank balance, thank you. $878,688.61. Um, I have an amended certificate that I need a motion and I need you to sign for um, the appropriations. As you know, when we, in the fall, we give them a guesstimate of what we think our ending balances are going to be December 31st, and then when we know what they actually are, we have to amend the certificate. So I have type this out with the amounts that are actually on our appropriation spread for your paperwork. And um, if someone would make a motion in the second, then we will. I don't Fred see, but our point person on this pretty good. All right, then I'll make a motion that we uh, accept this amended certificate and turn it in. I'll second that uh, motion for the amended certificate. Okay. Uh, Trustee Houston? Yes. Trustee Spellman? Yes. Is Trustee Tillman? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, all the first quarter taxes are paid and whatever bills were in the drawer current. Um, I had copies of the 2012 and 13 audit report. You can pull it up on the um, Auditor State's website. You go up in there and you get some good audits. And then you end that sensor. And it is there. But you had you said you had some copies here? Yes, they every they were taken. They're all gone? Yeah. Okay. okay. Fred, you could have mine. No, I've got mine at okay. home. Okay. 
Because we each got a copy through the, uh, they emailed us a copy of it. Oh, okay. Well, Certainly the effort to try to see the public has it. Thank you. Well, the way the effort to ask you. You interpreted that way. I, I got right. it. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, no, you done with that? Okay. Uh, maintenance report. Um, the AC uh, fire hall project, all phases are completed, and I'll have a, uh, a, a, a total cost at the next meeting for you. Uh, the town hall AC and furnace replacement here, um, we work quoted $7,720. Our cost was $3,679.33, so we had a cost savings of over $4,000. So it was a good project. Uh, today I did, did go to a uh, factory service class for Samsung that for our multi-zone heat pumps that we installed in the uh, fire hall. It was a basic ma maintenance uh, class. Um, it was helpful. Um, so it would uh, be something good I'll be able to use. Uh, cemetery, we sold one plot, two burials, and we did use our backhoe to dig one grave down there. Um, I did pick up the new mower, the chainsaw, and the weed reed trimmer. Um, looks like it's going to be a, a good purchase. Um, our little uh, blower that we use, uh, it, it actually, it finally quit. It was five years old. We paid $187 for it five years ago. I did pick up one for $191. Um, and I gave you the receipt on that, so you'll have to you need to approve that. Um, green team meeting today um, on their website. That there will be um, their appliance and all their collections that they're going to have throughout the uh, county this year. Um, also, in your packet, we met with uh, I met with uh, specialized construction about getting a review and some suggestions on our roads and parking lot. Um, Summer help, or at that time of the year, I do have one application from one gentleman that came in. I provided you that, um, and we can look at that and see what we're going to do about uh, employees. Uh, the fuel tank report. I'm working on uh, removing those two fuel tanks at the, at the fire station and maintenance. They're the old oil tanks that we're not using anymore. Um, I've been in contact with the Department of Commerce to make sure that we follow all the rules. Um, I also have a application for, uh, we need two permits to remove them, and they're $75 a piece. Um, Karen, I gave that to you, we um, need a signature uh, on that, and they'll need a check set. Um, also, when they come out to inspect, they will bill us $100 per tank. Um, it looks like the cost of removing those tanks are going to be around $5,000 um, for both tanks would probably be the cost of removing those tanks. Um, if we leave them on the ground, we still have to have them cleaned, and the cleaning is $2,225, and then the film is $500 a piece. <coughs> to have them removed, you're looking at maybe $800 to $1,000 a piece to have them removed. But the, uh, that, that one factor isn't going away. They have to be cleaned if you're going to abandon them or if you're going to remove them. And you still have to buy your permits. So, um, one, of, uh, one of the other uh, ongoing projects that we had, we did a test run on the pond pump uh, the, for the water up to the fire station. It went quite well. Um, we got one more thing to do um, before we turn it over to the fire department. But uh, the test run ran fantastic. There was a lot of water. So you guys should be happy with that. Um, also, Memorial Day is coming up. It's going to be time to decorate with flags. Um, I have a flag list here. Um, I'd like to go through um, real quick. I know the meeting's running along here. Um, I need some flag poles and some flags. Um, if we wanted to do them all, the flags and the poles would run us about $1,000. Maybe we can do half of that this year and maybe half next year. Um, something to consider. The purchases are going through our VFW? Yes, the VFW, yes, and the flag poles would be through Western Reserve uh, Flag Company and Boardman. That was the same company that we bought poles off last year. How many poles did we get last year? Well, for, I, don't I don't remember. remember. It was part of 10 or 12, yeah. I think, maybe. <clears throat> Is it getting too late to get them? Can we still get them for? Okay. Yeah. 
And I know the uh, the POW and the, and the Ohio State flags, we'll, we have to get from the, the corner shop here. We can get those so we can, we can spread the uh, order out. I, I said we can do POW, but hey, it's a local business too. Oh, okay. Just curious. I think maybe the price might be compared. I don't know. I'll, I'm, I was going to give them the price. That's fine. I just thought there was a supply issue. No. Okay, that's all you have. Shop local. Like yeah. Okay. I had a couple comments, Chair. Question. Uh, on these, you said you needed money for these uh, permits and things uh, on removal of the tank associated with that. The bill's $100 at the time. This time sensitive, those checks have to be there at that time when when these things are, once these we stages of them are done. Once we start this project, we have 90 days to complete it. And there's not other there's not other benchmark of times in there 30 days 40 days. Okay. No, it's 90 days. So the money we w we want to be prudent and on time for that. Right. Yeah. We want to get that. We want to start. We want to get that check sent to the state, and then uh, we can also uh, we need to approve having the tanks cleaned. Like I said, uh, I had one company um, to finally get. A, I got a bid from them two thousand two hundred and twenty five dollars to clean both tanks, and then they. Uh, they're licensed to remove anything that's left in them, and then they give us a certificate that they are clean. And then when the inspector comes out, he'll want that certificate. Plus, they'll want us hundred dollars per tank. Well, we want it all happen that window. That's what I was getting at about this check. Well, that. yeah, the first check would be uh, one hundred fifty seventy-five dollars per, and then when he when he inspects, it'll be another. What we're saying, Karen might need some lead time, and yes. we, we have to take the action here to do some of the procreations. So Correct. we wanted to be. We, want, we didn't want that to slam close. Well, on. that's why I said it, we should be around $5,000. <coughs> the, the only real decision besides doing it, I think, that we have to make is the method. Right. It's either the pool or the fill. And is everybody clear on the two, which way to go? Yeah. And did you pretty much, uh, you check the cost and they're about the same either way? Is that yeah, right? I think pulling them it might be just a little, too, um, a few dollars more. But pulling them out, if you scrap them, they're out, and we can get $200 per tank. I called and got an estimate on scrap on them because they weigh 2,300 pounds a piece. So I got an estimate on scrap. So it's pretty much a wash. I'd like to pull the method myself, but uh, what do you guys think? Pull it. Pull? Already you a puller? Agreed. Okay. Another thing, uh, Chair, uh, we, we, we have, if the public had heard here, the town hall, we have an air condition, we put a furnace in there. Some of us have got to take a tour and seeing what uh, what that old furnace used to be in here. Tonight was mentioned we had $4,040.67 in savings. Um, and, I, and I'm looking at uh, our shared services with Berlin Center's maintenance, but uh, Mr. Morocco here in his expertise in, in, in lending that to these type of projects that we've saved a lot, a lot of money. It's something these three trustees wanted to get back to the public uh, some of these things like air conditioning and heating and updating these things, but it wouldn't have happened uh, without Mr. Morocco going uh, way beyond uh, with uh, his able, his, his field, it's his field he did it for a living, but the, the scope of work that he did to do this, uh, it really looks good and it's working, working fine. So yes. I think that goes to mention to the public of how much money we really saved here. Right. He's a, a real asset. Mr. Thank Earl. you. Okay. And uh, just as a side note, too, you did have them all pumped. Did you did you say that? Pumped? Yes, the, the yeah, tanks are pump dry. Um, the, we actually have 144 gallons of of fuel on credit because we had 100. We put the rest of we filled our we topped off our tank here, and we had 144 gallons left. And they were uh, first choice was um, they're going to hold it for us until fall when we need it. Just so the public knows, yeah. we pumped the tanks at the fire station yes. and we brought it all to here to use. What was left over, and we have credit. Right. So we didn't throw anything away. No. Everything was yeah. saved. Yeah. We, saved the we didn't have to put it in barrels and put it behind the building and save it. You know, they have it and we have credit. So Very good. Yeah. Okay. And pump station. So uh, time is up. Yes. And so we want to make a motion just. What was the cap amount you thought? Five thousand. Somewhere around five grand. That would cover would permits. 5, That's for both. Yeah. That covers both. So I can make a motion that we make the expenditures up to five thousand dollars for the tank uh, removal project. So we decided to do the removal, and uh, as long as we get their money on time and do it in those ninety days, uh, that's an ambitious. But uh, make a motion that we do that. I'll second it. Okay, Trustee Houston. Yes. Trustee Spellman. Yes. Trustee Tillman. Yes. You're going to use Kevin on that? 
Absolutely. Okay. All right. So uh, does that complete your report, Matt? The flags. If we can, with oh, the flags. Purchasing of flags. You want to? Like I said, on the blower. Yes. And the flags on the blower. I was just going to say the blower. We never made a motion on it before, did we? But it's covered under his. Uh, well, what do we want to do? It's covered under the daily expense. He, could, he had the authority to buy it. From yeah, his credit but, limit but it'd be so. better if we made a motion to cover it. Yeah, I'll make that motion and we approve the purchase of the blower that we have for $191. From Ducat, was it? Yes. From Ducat, okay. From Ducat, yes. I'll second that. Okay, Trustee Houston? Yes. Trustee Spellman? Yes. Trustee Tillman, yes. Now, what about the flags? Flags. Do you have a cost estimate and all that? Well, if we were going to do everything and be 100 percent, it'd be 1,038. Well, what, can so I if ask you, you want to do what's, half? What's the condition of the half that we don't do if there if we don't do them? How bad is the half? they those flags were. So the they're half gone. <laughs> they, I mean, they were all they were either wind beaten or they're, they're, I actually gave those back, gave those to the PFW to destroy. So that's how bad they were. So aren't so bad, they're pretty bad. So they we can put up less flags or we buy them Yeah, all. exactly. Okay. So if you want to, and we can probably get by doing half. You know, spend 500 now and maybe next year do 500. I'll make a motion that we spend up to the, let's make it up to $1,100 for flags and poles and be done with it. I'll second the Trustee Houston motion. Okay, Trustee Houston? Yes. Trustee Spellman? Yes. Trustee Tillman? Yes. For the flag expenditure. That was do look nice. And that should take care of us then for mm -hmm. a few years. A few years, years anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm starting to cycle through. Yeah, that's, yeah, we replaced some last year. And yeah, so it should. Okay. Uh, uh, may I? Go ahead. Point of clarification. Um, this $150 check, Department of Commerce or Code Enforcement Bureau, which one? Where is it going to? Let me get back to you on that tomorrow. How about that? Let me make sure. Okay. And I'll make sure it gets to the right place. Well, I said make the uh, check money order Treasurer State of Ohio. Okay. And you you have a... Um, it's right there out the... Yeah. Okay. But do you have an address? Right at the bottom. Code of Enforcement Bureau. Okay. That's what I'm asking you. Where's the state? Yeah, it looks like it's uh, there somewhere. Yeah, it's half cut off. Okay. All right. So that's good. Uh, anything else mm -hmm. with the maintenance report? I just want to thank again Earl today. We went to the Green Team meeting in Canfield because Matt was in Cleveland for another meeting. He went with Kevin. I'm sure he was great company and he learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we learned a lot, didn't we? <laughs> That's yeah. it. But Earl's filling in another town. He could do meetings. <laughs> We're stretched thin this morning. Okay. So we'll pass, pass that. All right. Um, you made me That's good. You <laughs> saved us more money. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we're done with uh, the maintenance report. Now we're on to Mr. Wayne with the zoning report. The date of my last report was March 11, 2015. Since then, I've written one permit for a modular home to 5045 Galt Road, North Jackson, Ohio. Cost of the modular home was 34900 so the permit was based upon the cost of the modular home. The Board of Zoning Appeals granted variance on March 10th, 2015, and I wrote the permit on uh, March 17th. <coughs> I also wrote a permit for an addition, 192 square feet to 11817 Deal Road, that's in North Jackson, Ohio, mailing address. Also spoke with the new owner of the Pelham property. Met with the owner. It's 10808. Uh, I also checked the auditor's records. The owner has not been, new owner is not reflected on the auditor's records yet. Um, new owner brought in a stop work order and he wanted to discuss that issued by the uh, county. He was putting up a couple sheets of siding where it had blown off. So I contacted the county and the county basically stated that he could do repair work or if it's any major work he needs to contact them for a permit. Mm -hmm. Also set up a meeting 
between the new owner and the zoning commission so we can discuss as far as the new owner's intentions with the Pelham property and that'll that'll take place next week at the 14th so, yeah. good I sent letters I sent a letter to 8920 Herbert Road the owner of that property the neighboring property owner had had concerns about his driveway moving closer to the boundary line I have not received a response on that yet sent a violation letter to the property owner located at 6673 South Salem Warren Road that's the Canfield mailing address about an unlicensed RV or an expired tags excess building materials and debris on the property there's no no home located at that property just a garage I there's a <coughs> dumpster on that piece of property and the RV and I believe a lawnmower I did not receive the response on that yet also sent a letter to the Huxley Road Berlin Center property that I had spoken about in my previous reports as a follow-up as to unlicensed vehicles so I'm working on that that complaint I received a call from the managers of the swap meet for their uh, as far as their sites this summer various sites and getting a temporary signs um, I haven't heard from them since but uh, they're supposed to mail mail up as far as the uh, fee for the temporary signs I'm reviewing issuance of a permit to a West Hill property the address of the properties of 15 and 17 West Hill I believe the there's a garage to be torn down on 15 West Hill so I'm just reviewing that for issuance of a permit I should have a decision um, this week Good. and I thank Earl for the installation of that air conditioner <laughs> hey uh, just one thing real quick the car's <coughs> gone on it on Elk Road gone yeah. said he was going to take it out it's gone though. I seen a tilt bed in there I'm going to tell you two days ago it wasn't gone the other day that I checked but all right, so it's hands-on zoning and uh, Earl even gave you air conditioning too so everybody's getting air conditioning all right uh, done with your report that's it very good okay uh, fire department mr. Tom okay uh, we had um, no no structure fires or vehicle fires we had two service calls one false alarm four emergency medical calls no transports and one motor vehicle crash a total of eight incidents uh, cleaning and maintenance was 80 hours 160 hours in runs fire prevention was zero drill time was 40 hours total monthly hours 226 uh, the chief is requesting uh, a couple six keys for the uh, firefighters for the station and uh, start investigating uh, some kind of digital keypad system or something so you don't have to keep buying keys we've already started investigating but I can yeah. you know, and we have a gate turned in a application for one Brandon Smith who lives in Austin town and um, we'd like to see some AEDs for the fire for the meeting room at the station and the uh, maintenance garage in here and it might be a one at a time deal or whatever projected at cost roughly two thousand a piece wow. projected, <coughs> projected uh, rents uh, possibility I don't think we've looked into that it's always a possibility seems like they're everywhere now. Yeah. Yeah. okay okay thank you
Welcome. Let's see. Uh, Oh, for what we do a motion for? You yeah, didn't ask for any, anything as any expenditures. You want the six keys and um, oh, the six keys. Uh, we can. I make a motion. We uh, purchase those six keys uh, for temporary until we do come up with more uh, permanent solution to that. I'll second that. Okay, uh, Trustee Houston. Yes. Trustee Spellman. Yes. Trustee Tubman. Yes. I did talk to the chief today, and he was he had to figure out which key it was exactly that yeah. we needed for that door. But yeah, we'll try not to make the wrong ones. Yeah. That's all. That'd be a nice touch. And then you have the connection <laughs> with the outlet on it. You have to yeah. 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 I'll, I'll map go go Once down. I get the key, I can run over there and go. Map could go down. But we have a, a <coughs> variety of keys. You know, <coughs> yeah. Different. Okay. Uh, so let's see, we got uh, the EMS, we did the EMS 2 and fire, now we How got the probationary four. firefighter. Oh, the probationary firefighter, right, right up here, the application, do you guys have one? No, we only have the one. Brandon, how old is he? You're not allowed to ask it as long as he's over eight. Oh, is he old enough? <laughs> is okay. he still old enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, I didn't mean how old. <laughs> he's got a rather impressive resume. Is that Teddy, sir? That Teddy's son? No. He does an awesome thing. So this guy. Is he experienced already? Or he has an impressive retire with his military. He has uh, military experience and hazardous and all that stuff. So. Is he going through the class now, too? I don't believe so. Okay. And I heard the class is going pretty good, good attendance. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think anybody's going to Yeah. So it seems like a successful project. Not over yet. Well, so far. <laughs> well, we need a motion to bring him on as a probationary fire. I'll make the motion that we bring on Brandon Smith as a probationary fire fireman. I'll second that motion. Okay. Trustee Houston? Yes. Trustee Spellman? Yes. Trustee Tillman? Yes. Uh, all right. So, okay. We're down to uh, committee reports. Trustee Houston, what would you like to say? <coughs> well, uh, the roads are still in bad shape, and we just need to make sure that everybody understands that the squeaky wheel does get to grease. Uh, the number is posted up there. I don't have it on me right now, but uh, it does help when you call. Uh, we can show proof of that. Over there on Palmyra Road, it was so bad. Bob's wife, Rebecca, called. My That's wife right. called. Jackson's fire or Jackson's bus driver called. And after about four days of each of them calling and calling and calling, they did fix it. So there's proof that you know if you got an area that's bad, call. Get your neighbors to call. Call call this one and tell them to call call because it does affect it. I'm telling you that you, the public calling in about a bad road situation is 200% better and will get 200% more effort than if we tell them. So, uh, and the only other thing is we're, we're still working on getting Wayne's office cleaned out there and put the files and everything. I think we're coming close. I think they're going to start moving before too long. So. Uh, the other thing while I'm on it is we need, I'll make a motion that we set up a special meeting next Thursday, that would be April 16th at 8 p.m. here for the purpose of a zoning resolution. 8 p.m.? 8 p.m. I'll make a motion, a second wait, wait, on wait, that. Well, that's, you got, that's the township dinner. There's oh, it is. Ooh. Yeah, yes, it is. Two Wednesday, I'll move. Sorry. Wednesday. Okay, we're going to do it. Thank you. I'll make a motion that we have that meeting on Wednesday the 15th at 8. You want to go at 8 or do you want to move? Well, we can do 7 then if it's better. Seven okay, seven. what's better for you? Or or unless it's for you. Is it better for you to get on? Yeah, seven. I'll, I'll, seven I'll be with the devil. Thank you. All right. Then I'll change that to Wednesday, April 15th at 7 here at the Township Hall. 
for a zoning res uh, resolution and I'll ask Karen then to make sure she gets it in the paper for an announcement. And I'll take Mr. Houston's uh, motion and second it for April 11th, 7 o'clock here at this that special meeting. 15th. April 15th. 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 Yeah. That's my birthday. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, hmm? Yeah. Yeah, bring cake. He's 65. We'll take a vote, Trustee Houston. Yes. Trustee Spellman? Yes. Trustee Spellman, yes. Okay. So that is a special meeting and public's invited as usual. All right. Uh, you done, Fred? Yep. Card? Yeah, there's, we have a more grant we've had used for a couple of years that we, it's purpose for uh, assisting in some safety things. So I think we bought a jacket last year, uh, and they're highly visible. Uh, we bought some things for a dry <coughs> hydrant program, which we want to expand on this year. I talked to some of the fire fighters about that, so we want to complete that more grant, um, possibly get Earl jacket. We've got them out on the roads here, so we want to do that. I've been working with the land bank. There's property in Ellsworth that came up that that possibly a bank may be uh, surrendering <coughs> that, that to it's certainly being in the position I am, I, I would want to see somebody living in that house and paying taxes on that house and if it could be done that way. As Fred said, roads, 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 all the trustees, uh, along with Matt and Kevin, met with uh, some of the thinking outside the box of what we can do to uh, mediate some of the road problems uh, coming in our township. Our township roads are ten times better than the county road, but we know that we're nearing the end of life on those, so we've been working hard on that. So. Um, more to come on that and hopefully the weather cooperates and we can find a way to do it. I even had a question at the end of the auditor about possibly how to, if we did all the roads at one time, how to spread that, Amber and I that talk to them how to, how to do the roads so that we may be have to address, we know that, right, we have a project, parking lot project, so appreciate their help on that. That's it for you? Okay, yeah, the roads, uh, I'll start off mine by saying the roads were also on, on, my, uh, on our mind and the, uh, there was an article in the paper last night, the pothole blight, so with the, and there's a, it's because Trustee uh, Frost from North Jackson went down to the uh, county commissioner's meeting and made kind of a, a stand and tomorrow I was going to invite you guys to go. I'm going down with him again in the morning for the next meeting to voice our cause and we're trying to get other townships like uh, Mr. Denny back there might be accompanying us. <laughs> okay, to go down and voice our displeasure with how the roads are being treated and it was just two weeks ago our first, the road Fred was talking about was patched on Palmyra and that was the only one. I've toured every road in the township and counted the potholes and checked everything and nothing has been done so except for that piece. And it wasn't done very good. No, it's already in bad shape again. But the county has a serious problem that isn't getting any better and will be worse next year if they don't fix it. So we're going to go down and try to encourage them to think out of the box and do something different. Yes, you represent. That number is 330-799-1581. Uh, yeah, it helps. 1581. All right, so beyond that, then uh, I just have a couple of quick little things. The, the reports here from Otarma, we met uh, Karen, myself, and Matt <coughs> back in uh, February 12th. Met with um, the young lady from, what was her name? I can't remember. Her. Okay, the young lady from Otarma, and she did a risk assessment for the township. And the only thing she came up, the reports here, if anybody wants to see it, to take with them is... Uh, she uh, recommended that we uh, do a hold harmless for everybody, for all our subcontractors. So that was uh, the only thing that really she saw that we weren't doing. She praised Matt for all his uh, uh, things he has and systems and charts and everything else. Right, Matt? So good. You got a good bill of health on that one. All right. Uh, I'll try to go through these real quick because it's getting late. Memorial Day observance is coming up. I spoke to the chief today about maybe getting some of our uh, fire people a little more involved than they have been driving trucks and a few more than we've had before. A little more presence. I was going through, found some old pictures here of past parades, and last year it wasn't... Uh, we didn't seem to have much participation, but hopefully if we start early enough now, people will bring their vehicles, private people, townships, everybody, and spread the word, okay? Make a nice celebration. 
So uh, we got that going. The Chamber of Commerce, Youngstown Warren Regional Chamber of Commerce called and they want to do a uh, breakfast session of spotlighting Ellsworth and Berlin together. Apparently they think we're related or something because <laughs> we wanted to. We're <laughs> yeah, everything's good. They want to put us together. They actually want to have a breakfast out here somewhere in one of our two townships on a Friday morning with the media here and our chance to get up and spout good things about our township and what's happening and how everything's working and what a nice place it is and everything else. So we're I talked to Denny, he seems to have some interest from Berlin and some other guys, they seem to be going along with it also, right? Yes. So we're going to host it, it's either going to be May 1st or May 15th, I have to call them and we have to come up with a location. Free well, it's $20 each. Ah. Miles is open. <laughs> yeah, we could have Miles. <laughs> so it's open to the public too. $20 each. There's supposed to be all kinds of media comes and the people from the chamber and you just sit I think, around. I think since we're doing it, we meet here and go to Berlin for breakfast. Unless, every week unless you're a chamber member. That's it? I believe if you're a chamber member, you don't pay. Okay. Well, anyway, it sounds like a good good opportunity to get some exposure for our area. I know I went to them before and never paid. So mm -hmm. fire stations, mm -hmm. obviously. So yeah, you're volunteering, that's good. Okay. Kevin just volunteered to help out. All right. Uh, next thing is the, I had this idea of exploring, I was talking to Matt, we have this uh, Crypt Keeper program which we authorized a while back. It, we don't have the, as much time to do it. So I had this idea that perhaps uh, Matt and I and anybody else that's interested might go talk to the Ellsworth Historical Society and see if we can get some volunteers and maybe some <coughs> Move it along. Just an idea because it's going nowhere on its own. Because we don't have the time. So, okay, so we're going to check into that. Their next meeting is coming up. Anybody else who wants to jump in, you're more than welcome to help out. Okay. Uh, let me see. Another one. I already talked about the property on West Hill. I don't Was that the property you're talking about? No, that's the. Oh, yeah. Well, I was doing some work today. I don't know if that was the one. No, this one's on nothing more than Oh, okay. The property on West Hill that's abandoned and the basement's full of water and it's and the back end of the house is open and people are getting in. So I made a bunch of phone calls today, found out who, who owned it, who the mortgage holder is and, and convinced them to put it up for share sale a little quicker than it's been and lower the price. So we can make <coughs> it, move it up. And we brought that several times over the last several years. This township's been trying to be proactive with that, and, mm -hmm. and we've always ran up against the, 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 the lien holders or the mortgage holders, and, and they always got caught up and kept it uh, relevant. So, yeah. yeah so, so it's, I think we, I think it's going to be moving along. They're lowering the price. They're asking a, a ridiculous amount for it. So. Okay, uh, the other thing is, too, that I was going to announce today that we're real close to bra uh, to breaking news that we're restarting our crime watch in town and uh, with co been doing a lot of legwork with the adjoining townships to try to get some uh, joint cooperation. That seems to be very receptive mm -hmm. and uh, we're moving forward. Hopefully we'll have some exciting news soon about its breakout, but it's getting close. Okay, it's a wrap. And we'll be recruiting people to help. Okay, what else? Uh, we got a new worker starting on Monday. Corey with a K. Kip Corey with a K, yeah. Uh, it's through JFS, and it's a, it's a no-cost worker for the township, 20 hours a week to help out in our maintenance division, cut grass, and do whatever is required, so. It's a good program. So wants to help themselves and wants to help us. Two yeah. minutes. Two and minutes. that's it. And the last thing again was the commissioner's meeting tomorrow. If anybody has time, I want to go. Or go he says that, that person's going to start next Monday. Yeah, we're supposed to start last Monday, but it kind of got confused. So okay, well, that's what Monday. I wanted. Yeah, yeah, I was in communication. Everything's mm -hmm. great. Okay. Moving right along. Yeah, and hopefully, and I told them to send some more if they have. So, okay, that's it for my report. I guess. Okay, where are we at next? Let's see. Uh, old business. Anybody? Fred? I don't think we have any. Just so if we can get the land use plan somewhere that we can bring that to, uh, to, uh, well, we were, we were, we were gonna, the two public meetings, right? We had our two public meetings, so we're ready to, uh, pass a motion on the topic. Accept it. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think we, we, we've, uh, 
entertained all resistance and, and to, everybody seems to be happy with it. And to, it, and to the, the public here tonight, there have been two uh, land use plan meetings about adopting it. We had, as the chairman and, and Fred said, that we can either mo accept it, we can reject it or modify it. Uh, we've taken the public comments. We've heard public uh, two times now. Um, it's at this point, uh, we, we now need to take one of those three options and I certainly think for the public feedback has been very positive. Uh, we had agricultural people who were happy with it and, and certainly that was some areas of contention, but it's it's there. It's on our, so we did modify. Yeah, well I guess we, if you can explain that we modified We modified it by putting the one statement in and I don't remember the exact words, but basically it says that this document and the land use plan does not change any zoning at all. The only way that the zoning can be changed is it must be started by a the owner and then follow through the correct procedure. But the land use policy does not change any zoning in effect at the time. And that's the only statement that we changed in there. And I believe there was one there's one spelling correction in there. And I don't remember just where it was now. <coughs> so I'd make it go ahead. It was correcting a, a uh, stream bank yes. instead of stream back. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I knew there was an, a, a correction in there. Uh, so I would make a motion that we accept the as modified land use policy plan. I can second that. Okay, and a very momentous vote. Trustee Houston. Yes. Trustee Spellman. Yes. And Trustee Tolman a very yes. One, one thing I want to do, thank the commission, all of us on this the, the work that presented to the trustees, the, the zoning commission that worked very hard with the, the consultant on this and brought us a, something acceptable to the public. Yeah. Thank you. I lost my notes. I stuck my notes in here where I was. And for those that are interested, uh, that land use plan will be on the website with the corrections in it. And the website address is for the media. Ellsworthohio.com. Ellsworthohio.com. Okay. Look it up and it's got <coughs> all kinds of useful information including the land use plan. And one thing I, we do need to get out, anybody that has any kind of an announcement, something going on for a group or something, there is a page in there that if you call us, uh, we will put it on there for you. Yeah, and it's been getting a lot of uh, hits. Yes, so I don't remember what it is now. People, we keep trying to update it, and the key has our, all our past minutes on there. And <coughs> Which, speaking, speaking we, uh, tomorrow, the audit report will be put on there. Yes, the audit report's on there, so we're trying to make it the place to go to find out everything. Okay? All right, so uh, any other old business? No, and the next regular meeting, I guess, will be on May 13th at 7 p.m. Yes, you have time? Yeah, when you're finished with that, I just want Okay, it's your turn. <coughs> My turn. Dear Ellsworth residents, it is with regrets that I must resign as fiscal officer of Ellsworth Township as of today, Wednesday, April 8th, 2015, for personal reasons. I have devoted all my t I must devote all my time to the health and welfare of my husband. After consulting with Haven's doctor about his declining condition, I knew it was imperative that my time be devoted to his care and everyday needs. It has been my honor to serve the residents of Ellsworth. Sincerely, Karen no, no. We Accept your resignation, and we're sorry that you have to resign. Uh, and we wish Haven the best. Thank you. Okay. Certainly, uh, and knowing Haven too, Karen, that's just, it, 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 it's shocking, but under very understanding. I, it, you know. Yeah, sure. Sorry under the circumstances, but yes. we understand too. Yes. Or I should say I understand. We appreciate, all, speak for we appreciate all your work as well. Oh, okay. It's a sad note to end on, but no, certainly with that, our board will have to take actions to to uh, uh, properly fill that position. Then, so uh, yeah, uh, certainly we'll be reading up on it in the next day or two, and yeah. and certainly do it. Uh,
court yeah, as well. I believe, I believe, I believe what, what we'll do right now is, is uh, I, I think we should give each other permission to talk to attorneys at this point about how we handle that or something. It's a new, it's it's a new, it's than, a new thing. There is that us. restriction that you have to have the approval of two. Yeah, and, and certainly it, it, it's going to be legal advice is good because Ohio Revised Code spells this out, but we'll certainly want to take all those correct steps and measures. Did we do this prudently? So, yes, uh, I've, if there's an entertainment or if there's a motion to talk to legal counsel, I certainly uh, second that that we do it, any of that. To okay, I'll, I'll make it a formal motion that we'll, we will give the <coughs> trustee permission to discuss. Is this a one-time exemption or is this from a long-standing rule or is this a permanent thing? This is, this is this is, has to do with the resignation of our fiscal okay. officer. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we're changing new policy. No, no I don't think so. No. Okay. We uh, can do that at another time if you want to. I'll second the motion for the for the reasons uh, stated by uh, Trustee Houston. Okay. Trustee Houston? Yes. Trustee Spellman? Yes. Trustee Spellman, yes. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're down to the good of the order. Is that it? I forget anything else? Oh, you, you want to go? We'll go up front and go back first. Go ahead. Tom first? No? Kevin. Go ahead. All right, I got uh, speaking. I'll speak as a Berlin Township worker first. Uh, you, you mentioned the Crypt Keeper you guys have been trying to get up and running. Uh, I'm, I'll be speaking April 27th at the Berlin Ellsworth Realtors meeting. Uh, presenting what Berlin Township has done with uh, Crypt Keeper. So if you guys had a spare time to, to stop sure. in there and visit, and, and I have a little PowerPoint presentation and go over uh, a few things that Kevin the Crypt Keeper has been doing. But you, you are correct, it does take quite a bit of time. And I've been, working on, that. Yours or I've been working on it for about three years in slow times, and it's still not complete, but it's probably 95% complete at this time. Date and time. That's April 27th. Alicart Cater. 7 p.m. Yes. At Alicart Cater. April 27th, 7 p.m. I mean, don't expect any great big presentation. Do, we have but to do, do you have to call ahead for a reservation or just show up at the door? I think we'll let you guys in. If you want to eat, you should put a reservation in. <coughs> Correct? <coughs> I'll take three. Three of them. When is it? April, 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 April 27th. Sure, Monday. Monday. I'll, go to. I'll, I'll go if I'm here. Yeah, just up. I mean, I know you guys have been talking about doing it, and it's a good time to see what we've done and how. Is this going to be the, you're the focal speaker? About I'm the focal speaker. About it's literally it's about, about this? 15 minutes, 20 minute presentation no. of, of it, Berlin. We concentrate on the Berlin Township cemeteries and how it's been. And, <laughs> How you can access the website as the public, as the public, and pull up information and stuff, and okay. the pictures and everything that we found. Let me grab Kevin's coattail on that. Kevin gave the talk to the Berlin Historical Society about that. Uh, certainly, uh, Trustee Toman, you mm -hmm. mentioned that the Historical Historical Society, uh, Trustee Furman, I'd like to bring that up with our historical society, you know, the active members and see if they would want to come. So I'd have to give you a number and account okay. before, okay, if that's permittable, all right? Yeah. And I'd like to do it that way. That sure, would be nice. Yeah, that's a good way to bring them on board. Well, I'm not stepping on anyone's toes over here. No, actually, we'll okay. be, uh, <laughs> we're, we're always looking for new members for the word team, so if you guys <laughs> can. <laughs> 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 they your membership fee with you, too. <laughs> Most of them are short-term. Blue day? Oh, yeah. And listen, now, if for some reason a lot of our historical people can't come, you'll probably be more than willing to come make a presentation to them if they're Oh, I'd be more than happy. Actually, I spoke at the Berlin Historical Society last month and, and gave them basically the same presentation. And the Berlin Historical Society actually donated a uh, iPad to the township for recording the information and stuff, which has been quite helpful. Yeah, so that's good. So you're pretty They're much, you have no big voids in your, uh, in your cemetery? Oh, there's voids. <laughs> <laughs> there's voids, but, okay. but we're getting them worked out, and, and that having an electronic program has, has been a big help. So it's definitely some, a direction okay. that would be helpful. Okay. Well, also, you guys mentioned the electronic keypads for the fire department. Uh, just informational, Berlin Township Fire Department, we installed some new sledge electronic keypads. 
they work great even through the winter when we are hitting minus whatever it was this winter with all the icy rain and stuff. Uh, Did you install them yourself? We installed them ourselves. We purchased them from Bear Brothers. Oh, really? Uh, and uh, you can, the particular keypad, you can add, I believe, 40 codes. So each firefighter has their individual code. So if any reason they quit or they have to be removed from the fire department, you can take that code out of the system and they can no longer gain access to your so And they've been working really good. So okay, if good. you guys want to look at them. You could debrief Matt next time he's up there yeah. helping you with a burial or something. You can say. And, and like always, I want to thank you guys for shared services with the Burnland Township. That's big help. And I enjoy coming down here and riding with Earl to meet him. <laughs> I, I, Kevin, I, I think mentioning it has worked great for both townships. Yes, yeah, Trustee it's Thurman will concur with me. Yes, we want to appreciate and send our thanks to Berlin for letting your people come our way. And, and we're happy to send ours your way. They keep sending me here. No. <laughs> but it's been working out good. All right, now I switch hats to Western Reserve Baseball Organization. Uh, we, we will be using your guys' park again this year, the three fields, well, the officially two fields, and the old elementary school field, field seven. Uh, I gave Karen the insurance certificate showing that we are fully insured. She's going to email me the hold harmless clause. I'll get that signed and back to her today, or as soon as I get it on the email. That way. That's covered. Mm -hmm. uh, what capacity are you with it this year, uh, Kevin? You're the I'm a spoke per spoke person for WRBO. Yeah, I, 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 it's Kevin wore many hats. He said spoke that tonight, I'm but he's been the, the president. I'm actually, I, I'm actually don't have a board position this year because this will be my last year with WRBO. Okay. So I didn't take a board position to make sure that they all get filled behind me, but I'm <laughs> still. A vital part of WRBO and helping well, out quite a bit. So. I know that this time with Fred daughter, she got to hold harmless. Tracy was very active. And what we did was, is this the way the township elder approached that, <coughs> sharing this with the two new trustees? The way, one thing that we want to say is we want those kids to enjoy. We don't think enough kids get to enjoy those fields. We should be doing more. One, the second thing, there are no rules, and the rules that there are no rules is because if you make them, then you have to subjectively police them. You have to make them up fair. You have to enforce them. You have to. You have to punish them. We don't want it. We don't want all that to happen. We want great, great enjoyment out of that. And then third thing, ownership. Never, ever question ownership by you coming here and presenting that. It's absolutely what we want you guys to to do. But understand, they belong to the people of Ellsworth Township and uh, treat them as if they were yours. So right. that's, that's a, that that makes it all work, and it's been working for years that way, Kevin. Yes. If you can get that back, any of the two trustees that want to offer anything of that, and we see something, they're critiquing. That we'd rather do it that way than, than to make a whole list of rules and start being. Oh, absolutely. And it works out great. I mean, and, and anytime we need to field improvements, you guys have always helped out, and we've tried to help out where we can to keep keep the fields looking good. Uh, last year we put almost almost 200 tons of infield dirt on those fields with help from CBS Topsoil. So maintain them, you know, maintain them. Maintain them. So they're they're looking good. They're draining good. They're in nice shape. And uh, Allison Brothers have always supplied uh, totes for trash and picked up the trash for free too. And most of the time, the trash cans get out, and Matt's been a big help making sure the trash is out too. Okay, and we're, and we're splitting the costs on the case uh, purchase and managers. Forty John, Forty Johns. Right. We're we're furnishing the handicap. The handicap Forty John, and then we furnish. Couple of other ones. Karen, you can remember, refresh our memory, we had a contract for the. We already signed it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh, early bird tournaments, it's uh, usually it's our big kickoff and fundraiser for WRBO. Start April 22nd, which is a Wednesday, running through the weekend, and then probably the following weekend due to do the rain outs and stuff. But uh, we're, we actually started turning people away because we have so many teams signed up this year. So we have a real good turnout on early bird tournaments again this year. Before you take that baseball hat up, Kevin, one more thing. Can you put, and what we requested, you put in the window that anybody that has some use of the field, because it belongs to the firefighter, it belongs to the family, you want to do things, put a contact and a backup person to that. Uh, we don't want to be the field managers. We don't want to be the contact. Right. You guys, we want the children using that 
all yeah, the we'll children. Post that. We did that last year, and then post we'll it. get it reposted again this year. Okay. <coughs> Thank you very much. No problem. Uh, we do. Uh, we're looking for umpires. So anybody interested in umpires, <coughs> we have an umpire clinic at the fire station Sunday, April twelfth at seven p.m. So Merlin or Ellsworth. Ellsworth. Okay. Your guys' fire station. And then uh, one project uh, I mentioned last year, a couple times that I was here, and uh, we're kind of still kicking it around this year is Field Eleven, which is the field with the lights. It's not quite big enough, the home run fence is not quite big enough for all the teams to play because uh, you get to the older boys, the 11, 12, 13, 14 boys cannot play on that because it <coughs> turned into a home run derby. Uh, one of the solutions was to push that fence back towards the road and then where the fi uh, left field line is, where the woods is, we're going to raise it up 15 feet. I got a price from Youngstown Fence last year. It was Ten thousand dollars. Obviously, ten thousand dollars is ridiculous it's for uh, and, and yeah for for that project. So I did some asking around. I ended up the big big expense of that was the fifteen foot pools, which is actually you know eighteen feet because of three foot in the ground. Uh, I was able to get all the four inch pools donated, plus the uh, Two inch poles for the 10 foot section of fence donated, plus inch and a half tubing for top rail and cross members for the 15 foot. So at this point, we're just about ready to install the post, which we can install on the back side of the existing home run fence. So this project can go on and be safely done while the other, while everybody's still using the fields. But now we need some help from the trustees as far as probably concrete purchasing. We figured anywhere from $350 to $400 for some footer mix concrete. And then obviously uh, Matt's help setting those posts. Uh, like I said, we got all, all the pools and stuff donated for free. Uh, it's actually four inch well casing, so it's actually better than the three inch uh, galvanized. It's rusted now, but we're gonna weld all the cross members in. So our intent was to get the post set, weld the top rail in and the cross members in, and then uh, I'm sure a local business will donate some Rust-X paint to the baseball field, <laughs> and we'll get that post painted before we hang uh, mesh the fencing on. I was going to ask you who, the, who those other generous donors were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure we could find somebody that sells paint in yeah, the neighborhood, I'll or maybe donate paint in the neighborhood. That's no problem. This but sounds it, like it's going to be a nice fence but yeah, and we're relying on a lot of volunteers. If we can get those posts set and painted, and then we'll look at, then I'll start questioning and, and looking around for donations of a fence. I think I have a couple in mind, so <coughs> we should be able to get the fence donated, or at least at cost. That's good. And I'll bring that up as at another meeting in motion. And we can split or WRBO will pick up the cost of the thing. The cement that you're talking about, is that, uh, is, do you get that as ready mix and they have to come out and do it all in Yeah, time? we figure we just get uh, Salem and have, so have to have all the posts ready to Yeah, uh, I guess uh, Chris Pater volunteered to dig all the post holes for us. So that's all volunteer time and donated time. So. We'll get we'll do a one so call in that area, get the post in, get the pool set, and then uh, all guess what puts raining. So, so what we're going we're talking we'll about get the concrete <coughs> and then the existing fence I thought would be a nice. We don't want I mean that outfield fence is still quality fence there. When we pull that up, I was thinking it would look good and be quite helpful to continue down Lias Lloyd towards 45 with that existing four foot fence that we, that's there. And then you can actually designate driveways coming into that parking area. And that'll help you guys, you could actually put some gravel and stone and approaches into there and we'll help, help the mud plunge. situation. Yeah, much yeah. yeah. And, and you'll have two definite sets. And with uh, a 20 foot spacing, there's actually enough fence to carry all the way down to 45. Sounds so. good. 
they're good at getting donations. That's good. So we're trying. Yeah. And we'll, maybe we can loan you some of our health every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> well, we say it might be a joint Berlin project too when we set the folks up. Right in here. Again, it's a, it's a people's park. We're, we, we, we should <coughs> put investments into that. We just want it to be a good idea. A lot of people have volunteered to get it to the point where it's at. I just think that they'd like to see it done right and, and it look really good. So that's that's the only caution to, to, to present some ideas and keep open dialogue about this. Right. Kevin, as these things go, would really be the key point in this. So, you know, selling some people on the idea is better than telling them. So we'll right. in, in, in the position and the distance of that home run fence will actually allow the high school softball girls to play nine games there. They need 200 feet for a home run fence and that with the height of the 15 foot in left field and moving the fence back in right field, they could actually play. It gives a unique. They, they played there before, but it it also turned into a home run derby. It, it, it gives a uniqueness. If you drive by the, our, our ball field, then you would see a fence that was 18 oh. feet high, and it would uh, be people play like baseball at Fenway Park. It's kind of the uniqueness to it that that, that that we just want it to look good. I don't think we want to. Well, we're sure you've always made things look good, so we're not too worried. Okay. I'm not too worried about you. Actually, really, just approval to, to let Matt set up some concrete to come in, so we can get the posts set after we get them dug in and stuff. And we'll let things dry a little bit. I'm not going to go in there with equipment and make a mess either. Sure. Okay. No problem. Anything else? That's all I have. Thank you. You did quite a lot. <laughs> Matt, anything as a public oh. person? No. Two things. Ah, okay. One is. <coughs> Kevin will vouch they expressed at township meetings, especially on uh, TV or radio or whatever we're at here, to express uh, recycling at every time you can. So I'm just saying if in the local newspaper or whatever, when you put the thing in, please mention recycling. Number two is sure you guys all know this I got to have a heel spur I'm gonna be laid up for four to six weeks okay so we'll see if we can maybe do, maybe do some limited duty driving driving a brand new mower <laughs> we coach it. it's got a real nice seat on it maybe I can sit there behind the computer and start your thing you're going to come to this and figure it out with us then. Huh? Get in on the ground floor. Okay. Yeah, there's probably some things we can do. So. No, I can well, we're going to have more people to manage, and Matt's going to be busy working. Right. So you can Amazing. push people around. It's amazing. You picked mow season. <laughs> <laughs> mow season. Believe me, I don't want to have it done, but there's no... All right, well, we'll work with you where we could. So we appreciate you working with us. Right? I think all three of Trace expressed our uh, appreciation of what you've done there, and... Uh, and uh, it, it's not surprising, but it was really, really good, Earl. So appreciate you doing that. The public will know that too. I think the public needs to know. I'm surprised you didn't have it on tonight. I came in here, the doors open. <laughs> you know, we got one reserved. Just dying to put it on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, it's been kind of cool. Okay, well, well done. All right. What would you like to say? Nothing. Good. Well, we appreciate you coming. So uh, who's next? Uh, oh, Larry's back there. Wayne. The, what's the intentions of the new owners for Palin Place? For me? The new owners of Palin's? Yeah. What's their intentions? Store. A store? I don't uh, have any detail. Just a store. Okay. It's own business. Right. Me too. Recycle. It, it, it's the, I was told it's a place going into Canfield on the left that has all the <coughs> second hand. Second hand stuff, they're moving it out here. <coughs> okay. Quite possibly. Come to the zoning meeting and he'll uh He's gonna lay it out there, right? Is that what okay. you said? The new owner should be there. And already uh, you mentioned something about spe the special meeting concerning the zoning issue. Can you uh explain a little bit of that what the zoning issue is? No, it, it won't there isn't any action until we have the meeting and, and talk about what we're gonna to do. Yeah. It'll all be talked about. It's an amendment to our zoning. That's all. Right? That's the way you put class one. Yep. Well, that's all. And come to the meeting and it'll all be read yeah, out. Right. Right. I can't talk about business that hasn't happened. It's, it, the meeting's going to happen to have the business. I thought there may have been a particular issue at hand. That's all. No.
Nothing pressing. Just okay. It'll all be That's explained. It. It'll all be explained next Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. we'll look forward to seeing you. Okay. Yeah. As you know, we're a couple hats. First, I want to thank you for working together with the Zoning Commission so well on regards to the land use plan and how it went. Uh, as a VFW commander, uh, we're looking forward to working with you in regards to the Memorial Day program. Uh, we already have some things set up for that. Be held at the same place. Coordinate with you the, the uh, parade and everything else. It'll be a really great day. Uh, some of you may not know, but today a U.S. military personnel was killed in Afghanistan. Uh, something we can't just keep things for granted. It still happens, and it's 